Good morning everyone, it's Yelena G from Healing Light. Today I wanted to share with you so many things that I always wanted to share and I wish I've got my camera all the time around me so you can just have a look what I do through the day or my wisdom to give you all day long because I want every single one of you to be amazing and a radiant and a confident because I know it's possible. Why? Because I did it. From all the things that happened to me in my life and some of you who know my life story, from all the traumas and everything what I experienced, where am I now? And married to my soulmate and being so happy in my relationship and being just in absolutely love and out of it. How can you do the same thing? Well, it's it's pretty simple in a sense is doing the inner work even though some days you're not going to see as much as progress and some days you're going to see amazing progress but for me that happened because i was so committed to me doing the courses having mentors and committing myself to it to become that who i know that truly i was born and know that i was born with feeling um, victimized or low confidence or low self-esteem so i wanted that every one of you know that you can actually achieve that you cannot achieve it if you're going to be doing breadcrumbs and that's why in my close group the other day i did mention about the home farm which is a homework it is so important that you do the homework and that you do a hard work and the soulful um, questions answering them what i give it to you once a week it really is i do them daily why because i scan my body in the morning just like i was asked yesterday when i was um on the call with my lovely ladies uh, from the circle and i'm the facilitator and i was asked what do I do on a daily basis? And basically is every single day questions. Every single day I wake up in the morning, I scan my body. Is it anything in my emotions rising up? Is it anything that I have to tweak it, that I get triggered or anything that it's feeling pain? And the pain to me, it's not physical. The pain to me is emotional. Where do I feel heavy? why do i feel heavy is it the chest is it the lower back is it you know in front of me where does it feel the pain what is this pain telling me it's emotional because every pain or disease is ease of something and for all of you who are out there single and i teach about relationships and a dating and a texting how to text and how to be in a relationship and how to go on a date and how to you know assess this dating world what we have got and every single generation or decade of 20s to 30s 30s to 40s 40s to 50s they are struggling with particular things but i want to say this to you i believe in this being feminine woman to be a feminine she's leaning back she's enjoying life she's radiant yeah and a man are providers men are go-getters men are this masculine men men that's how i see them and in old times that's exactly how it was i don't see it except when i was single like the woman has to go and cut the grass if she has got a husband he would be doing that she does other things and there is no need to compete and say to him i can go and do it yes we all know that we can do it but do we have to if you have got a man at home enjoy being a woman don't be that woman where it's like, I have to be perfectionism or I have to be strong and show him. You can be strong in the feminine way, not in unhealthy masculine way. Just like a man, we want to have him as a healthy masculine man, not egoistic man. Not a man where he goes like, women adore me, so they're going to kiss my feet. So you can attract exactly your soulmate or exactly what you put it onto your vision board from a healthy heart point of view soul 
not from non-healthy one and if you're attracting non-healthy one or if you're thinking as the right guy's just got to show up at my doorstep or the man is saying which I quite heard it a lot um, where they say I'm waiting for the right woman to show up do the inner work it's not going to happen if you don't do the inner work because guess what when you start a relationship there'll be a whole bunch of different things which are going to come up and rise up guess what, which ones the one which you didn't heal which they need and require a deeper healing a deeper work a deeper counseling so is that for example is you're feeling emptiness now and you start a relationship and I spoke about it in my close authentic you group about emptiness what is emptiness you're feeling like a hole but why do we feel like emptiness because as a little children maybe the mother and the father didn't held us enough we were not comforted and then guess what we were doing in dating we early attach we are then like boom you know add the, add the guy and he's just like we want to be attached we want to be married we are doing all these things or even worse we propose a man I'm sorry but I teach women you're the woman he comes to you he proposes you you're worthy of it my husband did he proposed you know he went out and he, we designed my engagement ring it was an ordinary ring what I got and there is no two alike because my one was made to me so you can have exactly the same thing you can do it do not give up on it and say and say like all the men are like this and all the men are like that that's a little girl inside of you where she's disappointed but who you are truly disappointed with what emotion you're bottling up and hiding behind it you can overcome and you can come to you to your heart and maybe just try to do maybe this short meditation as I say to women is this mind your water our bodies are 70 80 percent of water if we don't mind our water or if we're drinking the water cranky that water within you is going to be cranky. You're going to be cranky. That positive ions are not going to be positive. They're going to be negative. How is it going to nourish you? How is it going to give you hydration? How are you going to have a beautiful face or beautiful body and not being tired when you are just drinking or eating food, not being nourished and you're, you're going to think about it that it's horrible or it's like oh, I have to drink the water because the doctor told me to drink the water or Yelena told me to go and drink the water drink the water because you need it the water is 70 80 percent of you let's go make it positive that water to be positive so I will give you this how about today you get a jar and I'm outside so I can't show you my one and my girlfriend actually done one too so I'll post the photos of it you get a jug of water and with a sharpie with a permanent marker you write it down i want abundance joy love um, empowerment whatever emotions of positive uplifting things write it down on the jug on the bottle and when you drink it you will then look at those words and say i'm drinking the water of joy and abundance and empowerment and let it flow instead of you. Let it sit instead of you. Let it nourish you. And swallow that water every single day like that with absolutely joy and happiness. You're always asking me, what do I do? And I'm giving you all the advices and tools what exactly I do. My teachings on emotions are all about what I see, what is about inner child, what is it that you're saying and you're saying it from a wounded inner child within you and how to heal it and how to work with it because it's you. So when you say I need a fixing or I'm broken, you're not broken because if you're broken, we would go to hospital and put you in a cast. You're overwhelmed at the moment, but we can work through it and you can rise up and women who are all working with me 
and now they're saying like and i post my testimonials where they're saying yelena it took a long time but i'm here now and they know that it took a long time because they were just so scared what's on the other side what's on the other side is something what they never experienced before and they're so scared to take that leap of faith but I know what I see for each one of you and I tell you what we can do and how we can work it onto it. And that journey is amazing, absolutely amazing. So don't give up, love and light. If you're struggling or anything like that, you know where to find me, drop me a message and I'll give you a call. If you're new to me, we can organize a clarity call, book it in because I wanna see if I'm the right fit for you to help you with all the things which you have got within you. Love and light.